Well, welcome to News OK TV for Tuesday, April 10, 2012. Thanks so much for joining me. This is kind of a recap of all the stories we have online at NewsOK.com. The State Board of Education is giving a Metro Charter School one last chance to avoid the list of Oklahoma's worst schools. Santa Fe South Middle School will be allowed to rework its paperwork. The Board of Education will vote on the school again April 26th. Six other schools were listed as the worst in the state. They were selected from a list of 77 schools labeled as priority schools. The process is part of a new assessment that gives an A to F grade to schools. However, some schools say the new system is still confusing and they have many questions about the reform process. Well, a tornado was spotted Monday afternoon in Woodward County, but large hail may have done more damage than the twister. Funnel clouds formed near the city of Woodward, but struck southwest of the city. One home near Sharon may have been damaged by the tornado, but the damage still needs to be evaluated. Softball sized hail smashed windshields, lights and more than 100 cars. Three people were injured in the hailstorm. Well, strong to severe storms are possible in southwest Oklahoma Tuesday afternoon and evening. The strongest storms will be capable of producing large hail and damaging winds. We could also see some showers in central Oklahoma tonight. The storm clouds will linger through the rest of the work week and possibly into the weekend with the highest chances for rain and storms in the evening hours. Highs will be in the mid 60s and mid 70s. Well, Ken Burns will debut some footage from his latest documentary, The Dust Bowl, at the Oklahoma History Center later this month. The full two-part documentary will air on PBS in November. The film includes interviews with 26 survivors and written accounts of two women who lived through the Dust Bowl years. On Monday, Chesapeake Energy announced the first of three deals intended to help raise up to $10 billion this year. The deal includes the sale of more than 58,000 acres in southern Oklahoma. A subsidiary of ExxonMobil has agreed to purchase Chesapeake's holdings in the Texoma Woodford Play. CEO Aubrey McClendon says the area is not one of the company's strategic plays. Chesapeake is raising money to fund its anticipated 2012 capital expenditures and provide additional cash for 2013. Well, natural gas future prices continue to drop, falling to a 10-year low. Industry observers are predicting layoffs among smaller producers. The news comes as we move into spring months, a time when the demand and prices for natural gas prices typically fall. The Oklahoma City Thunder left Milwaukee with a 109-89 win over the Bucks. The Thunder started the Monday night game with a 13-point lead and ended the first few minutes with a tie for a season best first quarter. The team will be back in the Chesapeake Energy Arena for a matchup against the LA Clippers on Wednesday night. The Sacramento Kings come to town on Friday. On Saturday, Russell Westbrook and his teammates travel to Minnesota to play the Grizzlies. Well, Thunder's win Monday night and the Spurs loss at Utah put Oklahoma City back in first place in the Western Conference standings. The team with the best record in the West will earn home court advantage in the conference finals. The Thunder is also in contention for the league's best overall record, which could earn the team home court advantage through the NBA Finals. Well, a 10 year old boy battling cancer fulfilled his dream of visiting the top of the Devon Energy Center. Xander Moore and his grandfather were greeted by Devon CEO Larry Nichols at the start of the January tour. Contractors loaded up a bag with hard hats, construction stickers, gloves and other mementos usually reserved for dignitaries. The Oklahoman Steve Blackmire recently spoke to Xander about the experience. I thought it was really cool because like it was so tall and it was like the tallest building in Oklahoma and it was just one, really, a, cool, a really cool experience because like all the construction workers, how they came together to do this and how in the amount of time they did it, it was like right for my eyes. Oh, how exciting for Xander. Now, Xander, we actually have interviewed before with the Art with a Heart event. He's been an artist who paints his art for this event and then they sell it and it goes back to uh, the Cancer for Kids Foundation. It's wonderful. Anyway, what an exciting thing for him. That's awesome. You guys have a wonderful week. See ya.